Sean, Ireland are getting ready to embark on a three-test tour to New Zealand. What do we have to do to beat the All Blacks? Well, they need, need a belief. <coughs> Sorry, they need a belief that they, they can beat the All Blacks, and they need to take their, their provincial form, the Heineken Cup form, uh, into, the, into the test arena, and that's something they've, they've uh, struggled with playing the All Blacks over the years, but you know, need to look back to 1992 when we almost lost to them in Dunedin, and I think uh, Quinny was talking about 2002 when they almost lost, so it's about, about a belief, and I think you've got enough experience within the team now um, to go there with a real positive attitude that you know you can beat the All Blacks. And there's been a lot of talk about, uh, you know, obviously, the provincial success here in Ireland, and then Tra trying to translate that into international success but even the players say there's a step up isn't there from winning a Heineken Cup to playing in a test match particularly a test match against the All Blacks. Yeah I think so and as you say particularly against the All Blacks a team that hasn't lost to the Irish and I can assure you every All Black team that plays against the Irish doesn't want to be involved in the, the first All Black team to lose so it's a, definitely a step up and yeah in test rugby it just happens a little bit quicker uh, the intensity is a, a, bit, a bit faster and a bit stronger so um, they just need to adjust to that and, and mould together and, and probably what the All Blacks do better generally is that they all come together in terms of, of the provinces come together and, uh, and generally play pretty well for the All Blacks and that's what the, the Irish need to do. Um, Ireland was the, the alternate team of choice at the Rugby World Cup for a lot of uh, New Zealand supporters primarily because we beat the Australians. Do you think we'll get a lot of support when we go down there this time? Uh, maybe not quite the same as you had when you played Australia, but uh, yeah, you know, generally New Zealanders, uh, they, they enjoy uh, the Irish and a lot of New Zealanders have come from Ireland, so uh, they'll get a lot of support, uh, it'll be well followed and, uh, and a lot of New Zealanders have been following the Heineken Cup, so, so the Lancers of the world and Ulster, um, the All Blacks will know the players, uh, sorry, the New Zealanders will know the players and I'm sure that you'll get good turnouts at, at the three tests and I think it's probably the first time that we've had a three test series, normally we have a two test series, so over you know, three tests over three weeks, um, it's going to make for, for great watching. And there's some new new names in the All Black squad. Can, could you give us one to watch, perhaps? Um, there's a, there's a few names. I, you know, I think this uh, nine uh, guy called Aaron Aaron Smith is is very uh, been very good. Uh, ben Ben Smith, who's who's played at 15, has been, has been quite outstanding. But probably for me, it's not a new name. Um, but I think Aaron Crude, and a lot will depend whether Dan Carter starts at 10. If he starts at all, he'll be playing at 10. Um, but Aaron Cruden has, has been playing uh, some unbelievable rugby uh, for the Chiefs in the, in the Super 15, so players like that. And I suppose it's the young guys now that the All Blacks have won the World Cup, um, and a lot of them haven't played very well in the, in the Super 15. It's these young guys that are coming through this conveyor belt of, of, of the next breed who, who are dying to get into the All Blacks, are putting pressure on the, you know, the Ali Williams, the Perry Whippoos of the world. Um, they'll be under pressure. Sean, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.